I deal with the people whose mind have gone out of order. So, um, if you believe that your mind is stable, so I have nothing to offer for you guys. So, in this regard, <laughs> in this regard, um, I've been working with the uh, children, um, uh, uh, children of mental health and adult for a long time. Um, what happens when the criminals, um, uh, whether they like to use their own family or children or not, right? What happens um, in the psyche of the mind that uh, we have got uh, two important aspects uh, in the brain. Uh, so if you don't mind, I'll stay because it's to adjust the mind. So we have got a two important machine in the brain. Uh, one is the prefrontal lobe. Uh, this is the frontal lobe, the brain, part, frontal part of the brain. This is called very small part, prefrontal lobe. And there is one is a, is a very complex computer. They call limbic system, limbic lobe. So these two parts are the key features that determines you as a human, right? So you, what quality of human should have or you have is determined by the, the prefrontal lobe and the other machine, computer complex machine called limbic lobe, right? So it, it is a collection of thousands of billions and billions of cells. So, so in, in some criminals, so-called perpetrators, there are problems developmentally or damage after some injury or insert to the brain. So, example is, you must have heard that people become criminals after head injury or after drug addiction or abused child. It's a classic example of children when they are abused, they can be criminals later on because of the brain damage. Right. Those, those having intact frontal lobe, which is a seat of awareness, awareness of self and the society, they do have emotion of shame and uh, guilt. Those who have shame and guilt, they do not want to harm their own children because they are in the families, they feel ashamed and feel guilty. That's why some criminals, criminals they kill themselves after being disclosed. Those who don't have this intact, both frontal lobe damage and the limbic system, they do not have any empathy, they call it classical human characteristic emotion, empathy. If you don't have empathy, you can't be human. This is as simple as that from my point of view. So you should have a good level of empathy to function as a human, which we all have in general. But when you don't have, you feel like using your own people like an object. Because you don't have empathy, there's nothing wrong with you. You don't feel any guilt, shame or pain. But in this case, the person who does have some sort of intact frontal lobe, but limbic lobe is, there is a problem in the limbic structure, they do act this way. They don't want it. So this is the basic reason why some criminals uh, don't want to use their own children or families. Uh, they target others. Some, they do. Uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I come from Nepal. Uh, I frequently read the news that the father taken daughter to Mumbai and sold in 20,000 rupees. Uh, it is a very common news where I come from. So we are very intelligent people, but we are not aware of the consequences of our behavior. So this all depends upon the level of awareness and uh, uh, the brain intactness of brain function. So I, I hope that I clarified that issues why criminals uh, don't want or want to use their own families. Thank you.